Here's Boy, another. Here's another picture. Then this is from Andy. Um, I uh, uh, believed in aliens since I took a photo of them in uh, 2014, looking out over the horizon in Oldham. I mean, that and, does uh, look like a flying saucer. Yeah, you can see an abnormal, un it's an unusual thing in the clouds. I think it was a UFO. Strange things often happen to me and lights often follow me as I walk home alone at night. That is a, I mean, again, that's an interesting kind of comment there, that quite a number of people report that, um, they, that they, they have those kinds of experiences. But once you're primed to, to be on the lookout for these things, that anything, anything that's even, even remotely unusual, you explain in terms of, oh, it's another UFO-related mm. phenomenon. I mean, it's interesting the fact that um, the very first... The time that the word flying saucer entered the language, back in 1947, this was when Kenneth Arnold had reported seeing strange craft while he was flying his private aeroplane, um, moving at incredible speeds and so on and so forth. But when he described it to the press, he described that their movement was like a saucer flying across water. He wasn't talking about the shape of the craft at all. If you look at the images that he, he drew, they were boomerang-shaped. Right. But, of course, flying saucer is such a cool mm. description, isn't it? Yeah. That subsequently everybody reported saucer. Is that right? Is that where that's come yeah, from? Yeah, yeah, it was kind of movement. What, 